free. This one's the WWE champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play ball games. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. First topic today that I want to actually cover was actually a topic I opened the show with yesterday. If you remember yesterday, I said, man, this laptop runs on Windows 10 and it's it's angering me because it's telling me that I'm being forcefully told to do Windows updates. Now, previously, I've had many computers. I mean, I've had them since the 1990s. And at least in previous iterations of Windows before Windows 10, it seemed like you didn't have to do what you didn't want to. If you decided you didn't want to do a Windows update, you weren't forced to. You could indefinitely delay it or just tell it, hey, don't install updates until I tell you to. But in this case, at least it seems starting with Windows 10, Microsoft is literally bullying you, bullying you into doing it, saying, oh, you can delay it a certain amount of time, but inevitably you're going to have to install the updates we tell you to install without any kind of way around it. All right. For, for example, you know, a few months ago, or I'd say probably earlier this year, it said there was a bunch of Windows updates needed. And I said, well, I don't want to do them now because I have a certain setup on my streams here where I have three browsers open on my, my uh, laptop at all times. And each browser is for one of my YouTube channels, and each one has a setup. You know, there's one window open that shows contributions. There's one window open that shows the chat. And there's another window open to monitor tips coming in because that's separate from the YouTube side. So I basically need three windows open to monitor any particular stream on my laptop. So I have three open per channel. So I have nine windows open. You see, I don't want to have to do that over and over every single time that my laptop updates. It's a pain in the butt. So the thing is, I don't usually need Windows updates right away. All I use this laptop for is literally monitoring the streams every day. That's it. So if that's the case, right, then what's the big deal? I don't have to force myself to do them. So what I would do is I would queue them up. I would queue them up for several months and then do like one loaded update every few months. So I'd done that earlier this year. And then I remember it happened again, like a week or two after. It said, oh, more updates. I said, I don't want to do updates again. I just did them. So I delayed them as long as I could. And I couldn't tell you how long they let me delay them, maybe like a month. And then I think that again, they let me delay them like another month. And then finally it says, you've reached the limit. You must do updates. And I'm like, what does that mean? Like never in my experience. Uh, have I been told that I absolutely must update something that I own? You know, I own this laptop. No one has the right to tell me I have to install software on it if I don't want to. Apparently, that's not the case anymore. Microsoft thinks that they can tell you what to do. I think that's pretty crazy, but apparently that's the case, and apparently people are just pushovers, right? Oh, well, well I want to use Windows, so I just do what I'm told. I'll update. Do you even know what's in that update? What if it's taking away functionality? What if it's making bogging down your laptop or your, your desktop and making it run worse? What if you don't want it? You're not allowed to not have it? I guess not. According to Microsoft, they think that they're fucking better than us and can tell us what to do, I guess. I mean, that's essentially what it is. <laughs> anyway, so basically the reason that this really pissed me off is because I did a Windows update like a month ago. I was forced to do it. And then within one day of me doing that Windows update, the thing popped up again saying, you have to do it again. Another update is available. You must do it. It's mandatory. And I was like, I just did it. I literally just fucking did it. And I had to redo all my browsers and everything. And now they're telling me they want to do it again. And I'm getting pretty upset. So I said, no, delay again. So I delayed it like another month. And then yesterday they said, oh, you have to do it again. You have to schedule it for the next week. So we talked about this uh, yesterday on the show. And I actually got a very insightful post from someone that I want to share with you. Um, Here's what they have to say. <clears throat> Ready? This is a comment on yesterday's podcast, by the way. Windows 10 Enterprise actually gives users the ability to disable Windows Update, and that's why I'm currently running it on my gaming PC. The day I installed it, it blocked the updates in the group policy editor, the registry, and in the service.misc. Since I blocked the updates in those three places, my PC has not downloaded or been prompted to download any updates. In addition to that, I also use a free firewall called Simple Wall, which blocks everything on your PC from accessing the internet by default. When you open a program that tries to connect to the internet like a browser, a pop-up appears, giving you the option to block that connection permanently, allow the connection for only a limited time, or to actually grant full access at all times. If you give Chrome full access, for example, SimpleWall allows Chrome to have unrestricted internet access. 
um, indefinitely. If you use another app such as Steam, that also attempts to connect to the internet, you'll see the same pop-up asking what permission to grant Steam, etc. Essentially, you become the one who decides to get access acting like a bouncer, and you only have to decide once per program. So essentially what I'm being told, yes, you can stop Windows from doing Windows updates, but you either need a specific version of Windows that most people don't have. Like, I'm sure that this laptop came with, like, Windows 10 Home or whatever. It didn't come with Enterprise Edition. Why would it? It's, it's a home-use laptop, right? Or you have to use third-party software like this simple wall in order to stop it from doing whatever it wants, right? That's, that's absolutely ridiculous. And again, I think that someone should do something about it, and it ain't going to be me. But that's a class action right there. Everyone just sues Microsoft and says, what are you, out of your fucking mind? It's our hardware. Despite the fact we're using your software, you don't get to tell us that we have to do something and install something on our, our hardware, especially if we deem it unnecessary or maybe even harmful. Sorry, that's bullshit. You don't get to tell us what to do with things we own, right? Anyway, I find it nonsensical. So, by the way, uh, the funny part about this is I turned on my laptop this morning. Oh, the Windows update installed. I didn't tell it to. I scheduled it for Saturday. It just did it anyway. I'm serious. Yesterday on this podcast, while we were talking about it, I told it to schedule it to do it on Saturday between the two React shows I'm doing for the big game events this weekend. If you remember, Friday is Summer Game Fest and Sunday is Xbox. It just did it by itself without my permission, even though I distinctly told it to do it Saturday. So uh, what did it mess up? Nothing, but guess what? I had to redo all my browsers this morning. Everything was fucking reset. I got to reopen. Some of them, like two of the browsers actually like remembered <clears throat> the settings. So it opened up Jasper. You're not going to be chewing wires. Jasper, stop right now. You're not chewing those wires. Oh, I can never finish a story when Jasper is in here these days. Anyway, um, so yeah, so some of the browsers remembered, some didn't. So basically, I was in here an extra, you know, 15 plus minutes setting up the browsers before I could stream today. And it's frustrating, but it's done unless it pops up again today. Because again, it could. This is what happened last time is it said, oh, it's done. And then within like a day, it popped up. Oh, you need it again. What are you talking about? So I guess we'll see. But again, for me... That throws me for a loop because that's never happened before on previous PCs or anything like that at all. Uh, I've never seen that before. And it kind of blows my mind <clears throat> that that is something that they're just demanding. They've never demanded that before. And now all of a sudden, it's a demand of Microsoft. You must update because we say so. How about you go fuck yourself and I decide what's best for myself and my belongings. And you stay the fuck out of my belongings until I tell you to go into there to do something. But I guess we all have to be bitches to these giant corporations now, right? Okay. 